the health and safety council is aimed at sort of senior seasoned professionals. It's a networking organisation where you can really share and learn the ideas across lots of different in industries, lots of global co companies, uh, lots of types of industries in order to actually really understand and learn how to really manage health and safety. It's a very member-driven organisation. It's the topics on the agenda, what the members want. So there's always going to be something that you want at the, meet, at the uh, meeting. Even though the key topic might not be your particular cup of tea at the uh, moment, there's lots of time at the meeting to actually bring new things to the uh, meeting. And if that captures the attention of other people, we spend time and talk about that. If it really gets the attention, then that's something we can actually capture at future meetings. So it's really member-driven. And these meetings are actually held in member premises, so you can actually see on site as well how they're actually managing health and safety. The main reason for me is networking. Um, the ability to work with your colleagues um, from different industry groups, maybe to, to your own. So in ours, they're from manufacturing, from oil and gas, from banking. So working with other groups, um, getting different ideas and seeing how they manage you know, similar problems to yours. That, that for me has been hugely beneficial. The exchange and, and getting feedback on own ideas, um, positive and then constructive in a sense, have you considered this in that point? And, and really the trust to do that. I mean, what's, what is in the room stays in the room. So that's really a somehow something where we can really trust each other. We can share very openly information and uh, that's really a great platform. For every meeting that you go to, there's normally one or two nuggets of information you take away where you, you get a good idea from somebody else that you can take back. Um, I think what else also, as well as the networking, is people are at different levels. So some people are just starting, some people are in big companies with very advanced cultures. So no matter who you're talking to, there's always someone who gives you another idea for the next step or the next way of doing things which sort of inspires you for what you could do next to improve in your own company. Here the, the size is good. I mean um, the, the target number of attendees is around 35. Uh, yes there are some plus some minus, uh, sometimes maybe only 20 or maybe 50 in the meeting. It, it varies but it's extremely operational. We can really discuss to each other and listen to each other. Once you're in a group of, um, I don't know, hundreds of people, then, then the benefit is, is quite low. One of the big advantages of the council, I think, is the, the ability to ask questions of your group, so peer assist process. That works really well because if I have a question or a list of questions, I can ask them to the Health and Safety Council and I would know I will get answers back. That's hugely beneficial for me in terms of saving time and saving effort um, and getting some external benchmarking done very, very quickly. Incredibly helpful when you're running new projects and initiatives in your own company.